Master System Challenge. This should be a good one. This is a game... Uh, oh, wait, what? Oh, dear, wait a minute. Is he going to let me play it? Uh, this is one, a game I've never played on the Master System before. Uh, I think we may have played it on the Mega Drive or in the arcade, because I do know it. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, see how we get on. You might think, oh, the audio... <clears throat> maybe the audio is bugs. But no, for some reason, there's just no audio in the game until you actually start it. Like, the, the intro and the title screen just have nothing. Uh, so let's get ready to rumble. Let's uh, see how we get on on the challenge. I can't remember what the score is that we're looking to get, so just have to play it by ear. Ricky! Ricky! That's a bit of a weird name, isn't it? For like a... The time bomb is set! Wait, am I getting any sound? Here we go, right. Don't expect the sound to blow you away. So basically, you got to rescue all the hostages and get weapons and kill a boss. So the hostages unlock a um, door to get to the boss, so they say. What's the question mark? Oh, is that a power-up or something? <clears throat> well, let's just wander around rescuing dudes. Then you've got a whole button just for the status screen. It's like being in FPS where when you're in competitive mode. How many guys to collect? Whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does that include the ones I already have or what? Oh, that is a power-up, okay. Yeah, so I've read the instructions. It says don't pick up the N, basically. That's the one you don't want. But otherwise, you're good. Yeah, green things are enemies as well. You shoot them to disable them and then they come back. Oh, S sounds promising. Uh oh. That's super. Oh, smart bomb, okay. Oh, you move really fast when there's no enemies on the screen. Obviously, the sprite limit. Oh, N is nothing. Yeah, it's just a base weapon, basically. At least you can't accidentally shoot the, the uh, hostages. That would be a big problem for me. I'll probably end up doing that a lot, I think. This reminds me of a really good game on the Commodore 64. It's probably not known too well apart from its name. It's called Die Alien Slime, which is a fantastic name for a game. It's actually really good. Oh, laser! It's got to be, right? L is laser. Or CLA enemies. Oh, wow. Okay, how many do you get? Do you know? I don't know how that works. You've got a lot of time, though, don't you? Uh... Ah, oh, they haven't spawned yet. Laser. At least enemies are made out of explosives, which they should be. What's W? Oh, warp. I don't think I would necessarily want that, because... Unless you have to use it, because I don't want to randomly get lost on the ship again. It's quite weird how the uh, power-ups are, like, set into the wall. I wonder how it was in the arcade. <clears throat> I like how they... Obviously, the sound chip's not exactly heroic on the Master System, but they use the minimalist background music. It's actually alright, like... A little baseline. Oh, one left to find. Crap. Might be in the middle somewhere, because I don't think I've been there yet. Well, what the hell does that mean? FD. I don't know that one. Oh, what fireball? Hell yes. Just obviously flamer from aliens. Oh, what? Where am I? This is weird. Oh, cool, we got it. More flamers. Yeah, I don't know how much more is, like how much you get. Oh, at least you get a noise. Cool. So you don't have to, like, wonder if you end up getting them all. What? I don't remember any of this. Why am I seeing new parts of the ship somewhere? What? Hang on a minute, what's going on here? Do you have to just rescue it? You can just leave some of them. That's confusing. I don't, wouldn't expect there to be more than what you actually need. Oh well, let's get out of here. You should get a lot of time, unless, of course, that time is spread over multiple levels. In which case, we're wasting it. It was north, but I guess not that north. What's the exit? It's a shame you don't get a map on your poor screen. You feel like that would be the main use of it. I think they said question mark can even include invincibility, so that's obviously going to be the best thing you can get. Come on. Yeah, boy, let's do it. Let's fight a boss, I assume. That's what comes straight after this. Oh, what, what the hell? Cool graphics. Well, he moves in quite an eerie way as well. It's like surprisingly smooth. Ah. Oh my god. How do I get him? Oh, you have to get him right at the very front. Like, where the red thing hits the ground. Oh wow, look at the stretchiness. It's good animation for the Master System. Oh, this only got short range. Got a laser. Oh, it's gone blue, it's getting cold for my fireballs. Makes good sense. Getting a freezer burn. Yeah, take that, fool! Oh, Game Boy has actually suddenly got really, really high. Hang on, let's go down a little bit. The battle's just begun! Oh, oh, Renault Clio. Okay, cool. Now you can drive around the space. The uh, one thing I love about Master System manuals seems to be written by lunatics half the time, which is great. Oh, laser. Wait a minute, I need that. Um, there's like, what the hell's laser worm? So dear, already getting tough. All right. Um, and one of the bosses is just simply called Arg, which is good. It's like the only person who came back from the battle, or whatever. They were like, what's he called? Oh, okay, we'll use that. 
boom. That's a not a good noise for the gun though, despite the music being quite cool. <clears throat> the, uh, maybe I can warp down there? See, oh, see if the W is actually going to be any good this time. Uh oh. That's probably not wise, is it? Alright, dude, we're alien syndroming. Got any syndromes, mate? Aha. Uh -huh. Gotta find them hostages. I wonder if they kill you, even if they're grey, if you walk over them, I don't know. This thing looks like a lot of creatures, that weird. Like, it's quite furry, like, it's almost like a friendly. That should be a guy, good. Yeah, it's doing it. <coughs> Excuse me, so I've just eaten a, a dinner and it's uh, not agree with me. Anyway, that's right, we don't need to worry about that on an alien spaceship. Again, like just like so many games, the speedrun would be interesting on this game because the the less enemies on the screen, the faster you move. So you'd have to like really rapidly kill everybody to get a speed boost. Oh, maybe that would help. I like this smiling green faces. E, we're gonna kill you. The way it explains it in the, in the manual, it sounds like that's like the ship defense system, and it's kind of would kill them and you. Oh, that's good of it. Thanks, PC. Huzzah! It's like a, you're a security threat. Oh, there's the exit, but I'm sure this isn't going to be the last guy. I'd be so lucky if it is. Yeah, okay. How many's left? It does tell you. Three. Okay. The good thing, one thing... Oh, what a pain in it. Oh, thanks for doing it. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, the... The thing, the, the manual, it says... Oh, I must have been here. Crap. That was good. Uh-oh. Oh! At oh! least you get a bit of speech. I was just about to say, ironically, getting extra lives sounds like not that hard. It says 50k to get one. But then every time you get 10,000 10, points, you get another extra life. It sounds like you'd get loads. Maybe I just don't understand the scoring in the game. Unless it meant 100,000. Smart bomb. Oh, thanks for surviving the smart bomb, fool. Give me that. The good news is it makes a cool noise when you get everybody, so I don't have to worry about, like, not knowing I forgot the right number of people. Take that, fool. Come on. Yes, this must be it. Oh, I wonder if warp would be good or bad. Um, yes, did it. You get a lot of time, which is nice. I was expecting it to be quite a tight limit. I'm like, getting out of there. Quite good animations for the blue wormy thing, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute, am I going the wrong way? Oh, that's something I never normally say. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, alright, so it's right up. The graphics actually pretty sound, I would say. Like, I think this is a pretty early um, Master System game. We never had this, but the box art is really compelling. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people picked it up based on that. It's like a, a bit like a Geiger alien, basically. When a lot of the original Master System boxes are pretty unexciting, even though I love them for their kind of sort of comedy art. Aha! Right, let's do it. <clears throat> let's take them on. Oh, cool. It's like Smash TV. What's that? Oh, he generates enemies. It's like Tron. Like the, uh, not the MC... Is it the MCP one? The one where you have to go into the Tron disc. Let's get him. Oh! Oh, does he get full health back? Probably. And I've got a Junko weapon now. You need a weapon with range, so laser's the answer, I guess. Uh oh. Die. Come on, mate. Oh, is it just fire only against this guy? Oh, no. Wait, why is he getting hurt? Now? Yeah, the arcade one's cool. I would love to see the sounds and speech and everything in the arcade version rather than the Master System. But it does a pretty good rendition from what I can remember. Don't arg me. This is hard with normal gun. I need a lasso. It's a bit like, um... Xeno Crisis is a game where the normal levels are dead easy like this, and then the actual bosses are just impossible. That's it, keep shooting the other directions, I'll see if I'm gonna survive. No, mate. Now. What? The only get when he opens his mouth, or am I just not going close enough? I don't want to go close, because he kills you. Ah! Oh! Is that it? Jeez, I'm after another challenge run. Alright, 63k, let's do at least one more run. I've got a little one. Oh, I like the music there. <coughs> Yeah, that's a really nice logo as well. Is it Ricky? It's Ricky Bobby, the ballad of. Right, let's try and get a laser and go into the end bit. The thing I'm surprised at, though, is it seems when you get a power-up, you just have it. It's not like... Oh, dear, right, maybe you should restart. Nah, we can do it. Um, You just keep it. Like, you don't. You pick up the weapon, it doesn't run out. Like, that's a bit of a weird one, that. I don't know. I wasn't expecting that. Right, laser. Just get that and keep it, basically. Uh oh. Obviously, the range is going to be mega important against these bosses. The other good thing is, it seems like there's more hostages on a level than that you actually need as well, so you don't have to like go crazy. 
you just leave the ones you don't like. Come to think of it, this Xeno Crisis is quite heavily based on this, isn't it? It's almost like somewhat randomised rooms, you're rescuing dudes, and then the bosses are the main draw, basically. Didn't realise that before. Can I get invincibility? I haven't had it yet. Cool. I wonder if you can fall down the hole, I assume you can, right? There's definitely somebody up here, I remember this bit. Can you get a double laser? That'd be great if it powers up, if you get more. No! It's oh. <clears throat> another thing from Xenocrisis as well, where enemies would just like land on you and kill you instantly, because you had no chance to respond. It's warm. Cool. I'd love it if that's the last one. Almost certainly isn't. Last one. Uh oh. Thank God for that. Uh oh. No, mate. Oh, you can walk over them. Good. Is that the end? Come on, game. Give me a break, eh? Uh oh. I think we've done these ones, haven't we? Yeah, so go up and then left, I think. I like that there was new enemies on the next level. Hopefully it's like that in every level they've got new designs. I guess we'll, we'll see. Obviously their patterns are pretty basic, so they probably don't change their tactics. But... Maybe there's something that can fire you? Oh my god, that's still not it! Boo, this game! Oh, I don't know where to go. Maybe the bottom right? Did we ever get to the bottom left? I guess so, if I pick that other weapon. At least that helps you, like, if you picked up a weapon, you can tell me where I haven't been. <sighs> Aha, it's John. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I seem to remember there being a lot more, like, obstructions in the arcade game, like the rooms, that, although they were, like, squares, I think. I don't know, maybe it wasn't a flip screen, I'm not 100% sure, but the, there was more stuff to like navigate around in the actual areas. Right, let's do it. Let's kill the uh, Smash TV enemy. Come on, mate. I love his face, and the way it stretches is good as well. This is a very well realised boss for the Masters. Please die. Oh! Oh, oh now I've got a lazy on the punkiest puny punky in the world. Oh, he stays on his same health, that's good. It's gonna be a lot harder with my like, micro range. It's like every old shooter you have to Whoa, you have to not lose your weapons when you die. No game, why are you terrible? Oh my god, right, let's go again. Jesus, I don't want to keep doing the first level. Boop boop. Maybe try an actual route this time, like start at the bottom. Oh, I need to go this way, don't I so Go for, start from the middle right and then go all the way around in a in a clock ramorization. Like obviously laser is the answer. Shame it's not like one other weapon, like a three way or something that's got short range, maybe. Or like a shotgun, I guess. Right, keep it in with aliens. Invincibility? I wonder if question mark could sometimes be points, that'd be important for the obviously the challenge. I can't really warp because I'm trying to do this my own way. Anyway, how's dude? You done any gaming today? Thanks for logging in so you can chat over there. Yeah, triple kill. Uh, fools. Yeah, can I ever get invincibility? I wonder if it's like each question mark is like points towards invincibility, like once you pick up three or four of them. I don't know. Oh! That'd be a punko. Punko pop. Uh oh. Jeez. Some awkward spawns here. Right, here we go. No, mate. No, mate. No, don't go towards my man. Let's play this on the organ. Kill them all. Probably the high score is like stick around like with loads of just use all the time shooting aliens. Blast them aliens. Uh oh. I pretty much have to warp out of here, don't I? Oh, is it the same each time? Oh, that's cool. So you can like learn the levels. I didn't realise it was going to be like that. 
thought it was like a random warp, like um, drop zone or whatever, or defender. Oh, amazing! Right. Let's do it. Let's not die this time because I need the laser for the end boss. Alright, let's do it. Don't you dare die here. I like the way the, the music is like not very sinister or like actiony. It's like do 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 do. That's a bit better, I guess. Getting better. Do be do be do. We're just fine, enemy. Let's go watch out for the front-facing fireball, basically. Everything else should be do dealable. I'm taking enemies on like straight on. You might find you want to do like diagonal shots. Might be the real way to kill bosses easier. Oh, good. Tabletop. Yeah, it was more like, you know, snaking around a level or whatever, yeah, I, I felt like that. Yeah, the game audio just jumps up an insane amount for the bosses. But it's, because obviously a lot of it's low, because it's very much background music. Right, come on. It's, it's Brain Blue Pizza, yeah. Where's Legrand? Oh, more laser power, come on. Yeah, these guys suck. I guess they're just the same, but they move faster. These are alright. It's wormy. No, mate. Oh, come on, invincibility, where are you? I assume if you get invincible, you must like flash. I hope that you don't have to just guess. This is there's a chance you'll be invincible. It's a bit annoying if you have to just guess and, hope, and just hope you don't die. Yes, boy. That's two here. What do you want to see at next level? Well, they just, no mate, don't. Uh oh, don't additionally small. Whoa, they fire a lot faster as well. Everything's faster obviously when there's less spice on the screen, such as the master system. But enemies actually fire faster as well. That's not good. Ah. Yeah, I like that. That little did you do? It reminds me of sort of a million. Just like really good sound library in that game. Cool. Kill them all. I'm assuming in arcade it was like two players, and it was actually two player. You had two people on the screen. That's how I remember it. But in this, if you play two player, whoa, well, you only play one and then the other. Which is a bit. I suppose you'd have to agree on how you like scroll the screen. So that's probably why they didn't do it. But I don't think having another dude running around. Uh, I suppose if you were both firing a lot of bullets, it would kill the frame rate as well. It's a shame to have to cut stuff like that. Cause it's Big part of the game. It's like on the NES, on the SNES, and then they have to cut out two player in Final Fight. It's like, why are you even playing it at that point? It's a shame when the technology just will not allow you to uh, do what you want to. I've been there. That's oh, the beginning. Okay, so go up here. I must get near the end of this now. Bell. 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 Cool. Come on. Yeah, there's a guy down and then left, isn't there? Oh yeah, Jimbo, this is cool. This is probably good for anybody watching the stream. There's this great thing I found out from another streamer where it's like uh, Ant Stream Arcade, it's called. It's just like um, like a cloud gaming platform, but it's just for retro games. So you can play like, you can just log in for free and play 664 games. And it's like, not only that, obviously, which is fine, but obviously I can just emulate them. You, you have like achievements and everything, and then they have like challenges where you can, uh, I think I say you win like prizes, it's probably just like points you don't like actually get real money but it's great like there's a rolling thunder cha challenge on now and it's the arcade version you just play it like it's brilliant really impressed the fact that they had bruce lee for the commodore was all i needed to know i was like yeah this is obviously awesome then uh oh because i warp or just try and guess yeah i'll go this way. oh yeah i was really impressed by that i thought it wasn't going to live up to like you know it's one of these like not scams but it's like oh he wants you to download this thing and then pay or whatever it's like no way it's actually Brilliant. The thing that made me excited, obviously, that it would be a long way in the future, but it had like one of the challenges was like, let's say it was Bomb Jack or Mortal Kombat. It was like, oh, this streamer has been recommending this as a challenge, so we put it up on the main page as a challenge. It's like, just imagine if it had like all these Bruce Lee challenges. That's like the dream, basically. Make loads of people play Bruce Lee. That's, that's what I want to do. So, yeah, it's very cool. Right, let's go. Hey, bye mate. Alright, this should be good as long as I don't mess about. Hey, why don't you get hit? I don't know, some way you have to hit this guy, so I'm just confused. Oh, don't come close, because I'm going to die. Trying to get my oh, mate. No! Oh, I can't afford to lose later, I have no chance otherwise. Do you just have to hit him in the mouth when it's open? Is that what this is? No. No, it's just. 
doesn't make any sense. Oh god. It's quite a good boss design. It's like the attack pattern seems simple, but it's hard. It does really work out. Oh there. I'm trying to hit him in the middle of his body, I think. Not overall. This music is cool as well. It's actually one of the better tunes on the Master System, I'd say. It seems like quite involved and it's good at good like um tempo. So that reminds me of one of the Gauntlet of Four tracks. That's like Mega Drive sound chip level, so it's pretty good. Come on, mate, die! I've shot you loads! You yeah, take that, you William Slam! I don't see having comrades that are waiting for me to rescue them. The turn bomb. Oh, Erato! Good face. Oh, wow, it really is different. Cool. Oh, I'm fighting, like, just intestines that are alive. It's like real life. That's my actual life. What the hell's that? Can I walk on that? I don't know. I don't think I can. I better walk on the outside. If I do it. Oh, the game's terrible. Uh oh. It's still a lot harder than the previous one, right? Weird eye alert. Uh oh. T go to intestinal alert. Or intestinal alert. I mean, intestinal distress. I guess that's what this level should be called. What are those things? So, lungs, meat, crab. The lung crab. Fish. Let's go down there. It's getting complex. So, it's... Let me... Oh, it's a blue. It's our eyes. Oh, okay. Mog, a weird addition. Yeah, it's like a face when it's going in certain directions. Very cool, what alien sign, like, well, they've managed to, like, conjure up a nightmare like, via a mass system sprite, that's pretty good. Well, let's try and go up. Give me this. I don't think this actually does give me invisibility, you know, it's probably just lying to me in the instructions. Uh oh. Shame the enemies don't have a bit of speech when they die, because it's great when your guy goes, oh! Uh oh, Whew, I thought I was dead there. They do give you just enough time for it to not be unfair, but it's not it's not far off. You gotta be on your toes. Oh what? Uh oh. Wow, there's someone with a different um style, that's cool. So it means we know we can walk on that. I assume enemies don't go on it as well. Let's check it out. At least it's different coloured allies. Is that like the sergeant? What's well, that a smart one? I get more points, I guess. Alright, let's do it. Let's get myself killed. Ready? Okay. Well they should have it so this pipe falls away as you walk on it. That'd have been cool. At least they're kind of bringing it a bit more in line with, like you say, with having furniture in the room. Now you've got, you have to go along paths, and that's not just open rooms for the most part. Cool, we're doing it. I think we might get to the end of this one. Oh, he said, not jinxing it at all. So bottom right, I guess, is the only thing left. Where's the exit, though? I haven't found that, have I? Oh, wait, have I already been here? I think I might have done Bit of a confuse them all. Bow, bow, bow. No, okay. Probably not. Dun, dun. Aha, it's John. Oh, there's Jane. Or John at. Oh, okay. Can I go along here? I don't want to jinx it. Oh, there it is. Don't make. This is harsh. Actually, gonna have a low amount of time here. Well, let's get this person. I oh, must be getting close, but the amount of time is gonna be criminal. I wonder if, like, towards the end on the last few levels, you have to actually know the route of all the warp zones to actually have enough time. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like an arcade style game. Bell, 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 bell. Still don't know where the uh, exit door is. Uh -oh. I don't know how uh, touchy. It no game! Actually shot a bullet through him because you see it hit the other person? That's lame. I wonder how touchy... Oh, you start literally where you were, that's nice. How touchy is it for you to be close to the edge? Does that count as you like falling off? Do you have to be fully off? I don't know what it's all about, basically. Yeah, that was so unlucky because the bullet obviously went through there to kill the other thing, but it was just in the wrong time. Must be it, surely. Okay, that's it, that's a no. Bloody boo boo, I need to get a new weapon. Oh, 
I'll do for now. I want laser for boss really, but I'll take fireballs. But nothing. Another personage? Yeah, it's got to be the end. I don't think there's anyone else. Oh, the only problem is I have no idea what the exit is. I guess it is always at the top somewhere. It's like Tommy Topolini would be. No, mate. Oh, God damn. No. Well, it's like they're trying to kill me. Maybe they can send some against the exit. Up here, I guess. Oh, there's another dude. I'll leave that one to die. Sorry, mate. I didn't see you. Might as well rescue this one. Watch that. You get me killed now, me doing this. Alright, no laser, so we might be in trouble. Oh, oh that was a hand! Where's the weak points? The eye, I guess? It actually lets me hit it. Why is he just being invincible for some reason? Oh, the brain! What is going on? Why can't I hit you? Is it laser only? Oh, there's something on the right as well. Does it have no attacks, though? I love this music. Definitely in contention for one of the best. Maybe this little bit here. Oh, it is, yeah. Okay. Oh, he's generating a worm. Okay, we're in business. Oh, I like this one. It's like a big slow man. It's like a tank that's running a load of things. Yeah, it was actually easy in the other one. His weakness is headbutts. <laughs> Oof, there it is. We're rocking this. Your mission is now about halfway completed. That's a good way to say it. Ooh, terps. That was an easy rescue. Oh, wow, I like this design. It's like a skull crab scorpion. No, it's a crab, I guess. Skull crab. Oh, laser, I need that. Do we get less and less weapons as it goes on? Like, not according to what just happened there, but can't make die. Let's do it. Bow, bow. Yeah, same the enemies basically just have like the same pattern, which is just like nothing. But I guess that went long. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, I need to have like this uh, stab vest, or stab jackets in case they stab me. You have to pick that up. It's a bloody stab crab from space. I wonder if there's any space terrapins. Are we gonna bet whether they're gonna appear? Oh, warp. Oh man. Oh, that was this. Oh dear. Wow, that actually does resemble a creature. I feel like I've seen that in Alien Syndrome. Uh, that and the worms are the sort of things that I feel like it had in the game. I don't remember it that well, honestly, but... It's nice, all the sprites are really well defined, and there's actually a good variety of enemy... <laughs> enemy looks, even though they're basically all the same thing. Oh, don't instantly start me, man. I'm trying to survive here. How do I get invincibility? Oh, cool. Oh, that's what I want to see in laser. Let's go. I guess having this stuff in the wall is actually more realistic... Because because he stabbed me! <laughs> um, because uh, that's where like, they might be storing the weapons on the ship, kind of thing, like in a container on the wall. It's like a gun rack. No, mate. No, mate. Oh, uh oh, that's easy. it was almost invisibly spawning on me there. So, yeah. No, mate. It's like um, a cheesy poof, or, or not a quaver, something like that. From behind. Or a bit like a stapler as well. Cool. Easy. Go to the link. Do not pass go. Do not collect a phone. No, mate. No. Bow. Monster Munch. That's the one. Thank you. There we go. That is what I'm trying to hit here. It's like Monster Munch. That's how they design the enemy. They're like, what would a literal Monster Munch be? It'll still look like a crisp, but it will eat you. It'll be a monster. It'll be monster monster, as they say. <laughs> no! That's the one flavour I cannot abide in this house. What is question mark? It truly is a mystery. Maybe it should, question mark should be like in Total Carnage where you have to collect all these keys that do nothing. And at the end of the game it just says, oh, you didn't have enough, sorry buddy. You have to have 20 question marks to complete the game. Oh no, is there still somebody else? Damn. Oh, I'm worried, I don't know where to go now. It must have been the way I was going when I died. No, that doesn't make sense. Damn, I'm actually in trouble. I felt like I've basically been anywhere. Let's do this. Hail Mary of time. Not oh, great, I know where this is and it ain't good. Bell, bell, gonna get low on Timos. Timo Glock is here. With his gun. No, mate. 
I do like where the green things give you a bit of time before they start shooting you, so you can kind of reliably not worry about them at the start. That's a really nice quality of life thing. Oh, it's well designed this game, I have to say. From a like, challenge perspective. Bow, bow. Oh, this game's terrible. I just, I lied. From a map perspective, anyway. I wonder if you get a little map in the arcade. Probably not. That seems like a bit of a mod con, isn't it? No game. How many people left to save? One, of course. No! Oh, that is actually a bug in the game. You must have seen. I definitely hear that fall. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. I think it might be up and right. Because I think I didn't go that way thinking it's the exit. There's probably a guy there as well. Is it, like, not there? Oh, I'm getting good at this. Oh, it must be up here and then around and right. Oh, my God. I'm just so good. Who would have thought it? Do, do, do. Can we go up here? Here we go. It must be up here. And then right around here. Yeah. See you, buddy. Yeah, cool, cool. Well, it must be here. Come on. No! Don't be terrible. Oh, especially you. No, no. Oh, come on, please be the last. Oh, it's the last one. We know that. I mean, cool. Right, we're in business. Don't die randomly here. Yeah! Oh, what? Look at the design. It's almost like R-type level graphics. Really cool. Wait, how do you find him? Do you have to shoot the little curl of, like, intestines? Yeah. But, oh, what? His arms are like scorpion extenders. This is really sweet design. Where's Steve at? He needs to be drawing this thing. Oh, you could easily see this. No, he didn't even touch me. Boo, this game. I'm going to have no chance. Like, the range is the only thing keeping me alive there. This is so hard with normal shot. Um, this is insane. I mean, give me Iron Klein and Act Break. Oh my god, dude. How the hell am I going to beat this thing with this gun? No, you don't just fly around for a mile. Like, you seem to extend this flight there. Oh my god. You're still on a timer as well, just for a bit of fun. Look at this. Didn't even need that. Oh, that's, I actually think better not kill me. Look at this. No. Boo! Alright, that's my score. That boss, you need laser. You have to do it in one. Oh, I'm not going to do it again, but yeah, that's me. 162k. But yeah, bloody hell, that is a really nice sprite for that enemy. Um, but yeah, that's 1987, John, isn't it? When did Aliens come out? It must have been after this. Is that, uh, I don't know. Anyway, obviously it's based on Alien. I guess. But yeah, it's a good uh, good game. It's obviously frustrating when you have to go through from the beginning um, when, you do, when you die. But that's the nature of the arcade game. There's seven levels. What do we get to there? Four, I think. Because we got the Flathead Man. Then the like mass that is at the top. Then the uh, hand. And then obviously that one. So that's the fourth one. Isn't it? So just over halfway. If it was, I'm, I'm assuming probably later, maybe one of the bosses is just two of the other bosses that you fought together. But anyway. All right. In that case, uh, all I have to say is thank you very much for watching. And we'll catch you next time. John Icon. Bye.